Hey all, welcome to Swamp Temple, the third location of the Apoch quest line. So after haunted Mayan town, the priestess of Apoch has invited us to meet in the Swamp Temple. Here we are going to wake up uh, Apoch by placing his plate pieces on the pedestals. So let's see. That's what the quest is about. Apuch would be in the underworld, so we are going to get there after going through this ramp. The location it's 541 tiles long and will cost around 3.1 million energy. So that's a bridge with some bridge pieces not in line. We have to pull them using the rope on the right side. Then we'll have a straight bridge which we can cross. Okay, we have places to go on the right side, so let's go predict the tiles, which include a pass. And now let's go to the right. This probably will not be the end of Swamp. Entrance to the underworld might be something special. Another topaz here. Nice. Mm, let's go back. Swamp is not more like a maze, but the paths are pretty clear. Mm, another bridge to build, then we can proceed. Okay, we seem to have finally reached the temple. It couldn't have been far because the location is not that long. So let's enter the temple, see what we got. Okay, we have a really interesting mirror puzzle. So let me just clear out all the tiles first and then we'll look at solving it. Mm, we even have some converters here. I mean, if you put it on yellow, the converter on the top will turn into yellow. And similarly, we have one on the right side as well. Okay, another useless area. Just something you don't necessarily need to dig if you are saving energy. Most of the tiles you will probably need to dig because the light is going to pass through them. If you are watching the video, you might as well see where the light goes from and then dig just those tiles. That is if you want. a few more tiles ok 
okay this is another color tile one of them needs to be red and the other needs to be yellow which one is what color i don't know yet i'm just putting them yellow and red for now we have two sets of receivers two yellows and two reds to open the gate in the center you will need to activate the both yellow and red on the side of that gate so i don't know which gate i am going to reach but i am just trying out some random combinations of these mirrors can go either left or right even if we go right i don't think we are reaching any receiver another important thing is the receiver must pass i mean the green light must pass through the yellow or red converters This doesn't seem right because it's not passing through the converter. That's something we have to compulsorily do. Mm, I don't think we can pass it through converter even if we take it forward from here. So that would be useless. Mm, what else can we do? There are too many mirrors, it's kind of confusing and that's something I like. Okay, we can get this one right first, then we'll figure out the other side. it goes straight to the yellow one now i'm going to backtrack on the red one just to see if we can take it up to here this one will take it to the red but that's not useful because it's green and we need to change its color first Moreover, I have kind of messed that up because it deactivated the yellow one. I moved the yellow, so that's not the one I wanted to move. This one I can try, but okay, if we use this mirror, we can change its color. We can't go to the left because the mirror there is used. This is not leading to the, yes, if we go from the right side, it does lead. From the left side, it was not possible, but yes, we have activated one of them finally. All this just to pull the bridge, but the pulling the bridge is the mandatory part. We can't proceed without pulling those bridges. So now let's figure out how to activate the right side one so that we can pull another bridge. So I'm again kind of trying to backtrack with the yellow one. Maybe a long journey, but it does seem possible. Hmm. 
Disconnecting the thread closed the door. The red one is right here. We don't need to take the red one all the way to the right left side. So let's somehow put the red in place. It's already going through a lot of mirrors. Might not be right. Okay, red one is done, but the yellow is the real challenge. Mm. No, currently it looks like the yellow will need this mirror because I don't see any other possible way the light could reach the yellow side so something is surely wrong i'll have to use some other mirrors this is pretty straightforward This is the path that has to be followed for the yellow one. Okay, almost there where did it get stuck? Okay, again this mirror. This one has to be used from the bottom side. I used it for lighting coming from the left side. This will not work. So what could possibly work? Okay, this is harder than I thought. solve our issue this way we can reach the yellow side but this is wrong because how will I activate the red receiver if I use this mirror for yellow so that's messed up trying to figure out a different way to reach yellow but I don't see something that suits so it looks like I will have to invert the colors this was probably the key I kind of forgot about it in between at some point I had remembered but then I again forgot. So if we change the color we can activate the red one with that. Now that seems much easier. And yellow is just instantly dark. So all I had to think of was to change the colors. And I took pretty long for this, sorry for that. But finally we are pulling the bridge, we can continue. Another to pass here. All 
right with that done let's continue more than halfway and I took pretty long time I think it's 15 minutes already and I've only been dealing with the first half less than 300 tiles so that's okay when you get puzzles it does consume some time and just a few more plate pieces then we shall be done maybe I think we have to enter the underworld as well. This is not it. After placing the plate pieces, something will happen. Yeah, a portal. So that probably leads to the underworld. on the magic symbols in the right order answers in the water now this is the underworld probably no blue water this black thing that is probably the water the location is full of topazes i found another one here mm. so we have symbols here we have symbols in the water what about order? Okay, we have some blue ones. Let's see what happens with the blue. six symbols six waters but that doesn't help and we have a white stone a blue stone but three things to place it on so i wonder where it would go i'm just going to try out any one of them okay i see what happens as soon as we place the blue stone on the symbol a number reveals in front of the symbol that is the order so the symbol on the right side has to be placed uh, pressed second and then the upper symbol is fourth this one is sixth so two four six or i would rather remember it as four two six from top to down Okay, this is one. This is five. And that's three. So one, five, three. Okay, let's start. that's one two uh, the third is upper one number four is this on the top right five would be this and this one the sixth great that has worked something happened and that's our pooch so the quest is complete. Mm. That's probably for the next location. But for now, that's all we had. Now for the feather part. This is the portal that leads to a feather part. Not a lot of tiles here. So perhaps a straight pathway as I can see, nothing complex, it's all about energy. Okay, 
it's a zigzag way to the top and then we'll probably go to the right side from this middle area finally finding the further part in the end i guess that's probably how it will be i wish i could have skipped some of these high cost tiles but unfortunately that's not an option It's not a long zigzag way. Didn't have too many tiles, so couldn't have been so long. And at least we have a few low cost tiles in between. Otherwise, all of high cost tiles would be not very interesting because the energy will be over in just two or three seconds. My energy is running out again and again and I'm just refilling it. So this time I eat up quite some energy. Well, even that quite some energy did not last long. I'm out of energy again, so let's go ahead and eat some right away. not much energy needed and for that final part I will come back another time after I have full energy okay so let's see one last mirror puzzle perhaps from the initial looks of it uh, it doesn't look that complex or maybe I'm wrong. We do have a lot of mirrors. And some of them do require choices as well. I'm going to try and backtrace. These are not the only ones that can possibly activate the red one. There was again a decision to be made at several points. Like this one can come from top as well as bottom. It's past well, hence the daily reward popped up. Mm. Okay, I messed up. No, that can't be right. Mm. So, decisions, decisions everywhere. Let's try the front way itself. Hmm, that goes on to the other side. So are we coming back from this side or? Well, the light can't pass through those uh, what do we call that? Fireplace, something I don't remember the name for. Anyway, mm, there's no probably easy way to get back to this side. Might consume too many mirrors and then there might be a shortage for the green ones. We 
we don't have options to change color otherwise green to the left right and red to the left would have been more appropriate mm. it seems i have finally cracked the green puzzle well that's a long journey for green might not be right but if I am able to figure out what to do with the red, with the remaining mirrors, might as well use that. So red can be on this side. I don't think there are enough mirrors to get it back to the right side. We don't even have enough options. Light is coming from the bottom side, otherwise we could have did something. No, I don't think it's even possible. I have messed up the green one, but it's using too many mirrors. So let's try changing that. Hmm, that actually works. There are multiple possible ways. And now we have enough mirrors to take the red light back to the right side. Wow, that was a really nicely made puzzle. It is using like all the mirrors that were available here and there and all the areas. So I really liked that. And that's our feather part as well. So I think we are done here. That would be the last tile. So thank you for watching and do subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.